Okay, HS Talks, Ayol Kali will explain more. It initially is a biomedical and life sciences co collection which covers these fields, genetics, cancer, biochemistry, immunology, across the patch. I approached them about a year or so ago uh, for a series on neglected tropical diseases. I approached many colleagues and friends. Uh, all of them agreed to provide a lecture to this series. There will be 30 plus lectures, 14 are already online, and they cover disciplines from the cross-cutting areas to disease-specific areas. Just to give you some examples, uh, Vector Control by Charles Bonji, Health Systems and NTDs, Margaret Jayapong, Alison Krentel on Communities, Yael Velleman on WASH activities, uh, Van, Wim van Brakel on uh, disability, etc. Simon Bush on the role of NGDOs. The disease-specific ones, which have already been uh, produced, uh, Richard Phillips on Berulielsa, Adrian Hopkins and Paul Emerson on onco and trachoma, respectively, Gail Davy on podoconiosis. Uh, the snake bite one will be out shortly by Rob Harrison. So what we have is all what I perceive to be the leading authorities on their field, in their field, talking for various lengths of time, not more than an hour in each case, on NTDs. Now, the important thing about this is they're free online to everybody everywhere. This is a huge and generous commitment from HS Talks. So actually, it, it's up to whoever's organizing it within an institution. These can be the basis of your lectures in DTM and H courses, master's courses, or you could even package the whole lot in a degree level course. The people talking, in my judgment, are the best in their fields. You won't get better anywhere. We still have a few to record, Maggie Baker on MDA, Phil Downs and uh, Susan D'Souza on mapping, uh, Eric Fevre on One Health, Don Bundy, and Diana Lockwood and Andrew Steer. Andrew Steer, some of the problems we've had in recording uh, are that Andrew Steer is in Australia, Oriel Mitcher who talked on yours uh, is in Papua New Guinea. Uh, we've indeed got um, Professor Fahal uh, on mycetoma from Sudan. All these are in the can. Uh, the delay is in a sense in the production uh, time and facilities because um, you have to make sure not only is the recording perfect in terms of audio, audio the, the visual stuff is correct, but more importantly, the copyright of the photographs is available and watertight in terms of any legal comeback. Now, Cam, I did have, I don't know whether we can do it, a just typical introductory talk, for example, by uh, Richard Phillips on Beruli, just to show you how you access and the quality of the recording. Now, finally, on behalf of my colleagues in Sightsavers, and the title of the talk is about learning and innovation, Amy Clark uh, was here yesterday. Ascend program is one of DFID's flagship programs. This is about Ascend in West and Central Africa, covering 13 countries. And it is launching a uh, learning innovation fund in the next month. The total amount of money available is four million pounds. And the objective of the fund is to enhance the performance of the program through grants which are available between 25 and 500,000 pounds. And I quote, this fund will be supporting a flexible range of NTD fo focused activities. It's an opportunity to be bold, pilot innovative ideas, enhance learning, respond to emerging issues and the barriers to NTD control and elimination efforts. Uh, the contact is at the, the bottom there and it's open to all to apply. Applications will be, uh, it'll be open for applications from next month. So that's Ascend. Um, I am involved uh, in a consultancy capacity. It covers 13 countries. Yes, 
Yeah. Sorry, Martin. I mean, I didn't recognise you in the audience. But anyway, there's the opportunity. There is four million pounds there. Um, that's an initiative. So th thanks, Cam. Hello there. This is Richard Odami Phillips from the Department of Medicine and Kumasi Center for Collaborative Research at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Ghana. This talk is on Mycobacterium ulcerans disease, commonly called Buruli ulcer. The outline of my talk is on the slide and it will cover what Buruli ulcer is, the history, epidemiology and transmission, biology, pathogenesis, clinical manifestation and differential diagnosis, diagnostic confirmation, treatment, complications, prevention and control strategy. Buruli ulcer is an infectious disease caused by Mycobacterium ulcerans and it's one of three mycobacterial diseases common in humans. They are in the same group as those that cause tuberculosis and leprosy. Regarding the history of Buruli ulcer, in 1897, Sir Alfred Cook recorded skin lesions that looked like Buruli ulcer. And in 1920s, Klein Schmidt also found similar lesions that were undermined and looked like Buruli ulcer in Uganda and Zaire. In 1948, Makalam et al. managed to achieve the first culture or mycobacterium ulcerans, and this yeah. occurred by chance when his incubator Stop that it. was. Okay, that just gives you an example. If you go into the series, you can look at a, an example of a particular lecture. Um, and then, as I say, if you sign in, you get access free to all the lectures. We hope to have all the lectures online by the end of the year. As I say, it's technically uh, really down with the talks that have been recorded so far. The majority, over 25, have been recorded so far. Uh, there, the, the sort of bottleneck is really making sure that the quality of the recording is high, the copyright issues have been addressed, uh, and as I say, um, they're free and available to all. We can modify them. When I get to falling off the perch, I will hand over this to somebody else who can manage the series in perpetuity, because I believe it's a critical resource. And in many ways, the people who I've enrolled in this uh, will be able to continue it. And just an example, Gail Davy um, did a course in Ethiopia from Brighton using three lectures in the series, my introduction, Yael Bellman's wash, and her talk on podioconiosis to 25 to 40 master's students at the Amrita Medical Research Institute as part of their master's course. So it's done and dusted and it's remote. As I say, you can get this anywhere, anytime for nothing.